Hey everybody, I'm Crow, and welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. So, from last time, this place opened up, so I naturally wanted to come back down here before we go to the Blue Ribbon Mountain thing. I went and bought more boots. So we have iron boots if they're spiky. If they're not spiky, I'll use the shiny boots, because I just want things to die in one hit. I bought some more, a couple more shiny hammers, and because we spent more than 5,000 gold coins, they gave us a membership card. So now the weapon shop gives us 20% discount if we equip. It's not pick one. I can have them both on? Dude. I lost a lot of money because I didn't know I had to equip this at first. I didn't notice that this was a membership card that I had to actually attach. Either way, we spent the things and now we're at the Toad House. And there's toads at the Toad House. And we still got to save some more toads in this area. So that's probably pretty good. Also, I think this is the only treasure. Because we have yet to collect one. So if this is 100%. Nope, never mind. That is, that is decidedly not... Oh my god, there's two more. Aha! There's not even a shadow on the backs of these. If it weren't for the Toad Bell thing, I wouldn't even know. Mario, I should have known. Thank you. How many toads are we missing? Oh my god, we're missing six more. There was actually a hundred of them here. They're actually filling up Toad Town pretty nice. I'm gonna go down the pipe first. We could go in the house. I'm going down the pipe first. Who goes into houses? People that knock. I ain't knocking. Oh my god, there's another pipe here? Anyway, as I said, Toad Town was filling out much more nicely. There's even a toad. Can we see it from here? Can we see it from here? There's a toad on top of the fountain. There's a toad on top of the fountain. It's not relevant, but there's actually a toad on top of the fountain. Oh, I wonder where the toad could be. I will never find it. Ah! Sensational! You found me, Mario. This is perfect. I've finally found a suitable tester. See, I'm the head researcher here at Sensor Lab. We develop technology capable of detecting all kinds of things that are otherwise difficult to see. Sensor Tech is changing the world. We're breaking conventions and shifting all manner of paradigms. Because you've shown an aptitude for toad detection, I shall let you test our newest creation, Toad Radar. With this little beauty, you can suss out hidden toads without suffering even a single crease in your brow. Hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer on how the work on how to work the toad radar. Would you like to test the toad radar? Well yes, yes I would. That's why I'm standing in your pipe. Ahem. <clears throat> Testing one two one two. Can you hear me, Mario? Let me walk you through a quick test of the Toad Radar. Can you feel the device on your head? As you may have guessed, that's the Toad Radar. The dish will scan the area and react to any hidden toads you may be facing. The closer you are to a potential toad, the stronger the Toad Radar will react. When you think you've found one, try whacking nearby objects with your hammer to unfold the toad. I don't know why that looks like it would rhyme, but it doesn't. This advanced level of detection uses a massive amount of power, so the battery will drain quite fast. No power, no toad radar. Got it? Keep an eye on your battery. Okay, that's enough explanation. Let's run some actual tests. Find the hidden toads before the battery runs out. Ain't no toad here. Oh god, there was a toad here. You can even see the toad. I'm a fool. It was barely vibrating. I thought it would be vibrating like crazy. I can see you, toad. I can obliterate you, toad. Where are you vibrating? It doesn't help if I can see the toad. Yo, what? 
You guys did it. I'm free. You wanna go to Autumn Mountain now? I know it hasn't been that long, but I can't wait to operate the tram again. It's tram tastic. That's where we're headed, right, Mario? Because it looks like that's where the blue streamer leads. I've got one passenger waiting, so just let me know one way or the other. You catching a rad? Hey, what's the holdup? Everything out there okay? Everything's fine, sir. Just getting these final passengers ready. Off you go to Autumn Mountain. Enjoy! Wow, this is amazing! We're up so high! The view, so vast! These mountains are so huge! Are you seeing this, Mario? Mountains here? Mountains there? It's mountains all the way up! Why didn't anyone tell me that the world could be so wonderful? Is this your first time out of the house or something? Oh, were you asleep? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. I'm just very excited. My friend Mario and I are on a quest to follow a big blue streamer. What's your story? What brings you aboard this tram today? Me? Well, I'm Bobum. And that's about all I remember. You know that memory loss thing? What's it called? Ambrosia? Amnesty? Thinky thinky panic? Whatever you call it, I've got it big time. So I'm on a solo journey to try and remember it. Well, anything. My home, my purpose, all that. You have amnesia? You don't have any memories? Oh, you poor thing. I have a great idea. You should join us on our quest. We can help you recover your lost memories and make a ton of new ones along the way. What do you say, Mario? Wouldn't it be great if this guy joined us? Wow, really? Gee, I couldn't put it you two out like that. I mean, it's a kind offer, but I don't even have any special moves. I'd just be in the way. That's cool. Olivia doesn't do anything either. I mean, I could probably be talked into it if you really wanted, but okay, never mind. You raised some great points. It's probably better for you to travel alone. Sorry to bother you. Have a good journey. Wow. So beautiful. Oh. Hey. Is, uh, is that offer? Is it still on the table, you know, to, uh, to uh, join you two? Because I might, I might be considering it, joining you, that is, on your quest. You with the cool stash and the big M. Your name is Mario, right? It sounds so familiar. I feel like you're some kind of pro at this adventure stuff. So, uh, can I join you? That is, please? No! I'm kidding. Hooray! Oh, check it out. The top of that mountain is bright red. That has to be Autumn Mountain. Wow, you're right. That mountain practically screams autumn. That has to be it. I couldn't tell. I live in a desert. People say autumn's red. I'm like, pfft, palm trees don't turn red. That means we'll be stopping soon. I can't wait to stretch my legs, assuming I have them somewhere. Now that we're traveling, buddies, let me introduce myself for real. I'm Bobum. I promise not to slow you down, Big M. And you too, ma'am. My name is Olivia. Nice to meet you. Seriously, though, why are there palm trees in the desert? There's no water. It doesn't make any sense. Apparently, I think it was a fad in the 80s. Wow, I was not expecting that. This place is not, like, autumn autumn. It's, like, actually red. What a location change. Woohoo, we're here. Autumn Mountain. The grass is actually red. The leaves are such a bright shade of red. It's so beautiful. This looks like the perfect place to make new memories. Right, Bombert? Uh, the name is Bobum, ma'am. Anyways, you should probably start following the blue streamer. Welcome to Autumn Mountain. Up in Autumn. Oh, Mario, thanks for the save. Come see me if you want to ride the tram, okay? We have a friend... And this place looks pretty insanely better than the last place, like, holy cow. 
I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it a lot. Like, I was just like, okay, we're going to go to the mountain that happens to be red. And then we got here, and I was like, oh my god, it's actually red? Are you saying flop? Somebody flop and help me. Okay, fine. Ooh, flops for flopping me out. I love the hat. The neckerchief, too. Flop? I mean, huh? It's Mario. Thank a flopper a lot. I've been stuck on this mountain for days, longing for the open sea. See, I am actually Captain Sea Toad Red completely wrong. I'll be tending to my ship by the port in Toad Town. Stop by and give me an ahoy on your next visit. Dude, we actually unlocked them already. I figured that would be like the third area, if anything. Maybe fourth or something. Oh, a sea captain. I just love the idea of cruising around the open ocean. It sounds so elegant. It honestly does. Boats are just better cars. Next time we're passing through Toad Town, we should definitely stop by the port to see his boat. I wonder if he sells stuff, too. This mountain's already better than the last place. Wait. Why is it yellow over there? Stay red. I'm going to need this mountain to stay red. I really enjoy the red. It's very regal. Very satisfying to the eyes. What's up here? I can tell there's something up here. Mario, use the hammer to pull vault yourself up. Mario never does what I ask him to. Hey, this must be the streamer you two were talking about. Looks like the source of it is up to the left somewhere. I'll scout up ahead. I don't know why I just imagined Mario picking up Bobum and throwing him at the blue streamer. <laughs> and Bobum just blowing the streamer up. Be careful, Bombus. Don't fall. Please don't call me Bombus. My name is Bobum. Don't worry, I definitely heard him this time. I'm, sh I'm sure to get Bobby's name right from now on. Olivia, I know you don't mean any harm, but you're such a jerk sometimes. Are you sure it's okay to let Bobby wander on his own like that? But I want to get the... Okay. Okay. Take that, Rock. Never done any favors for me. Hey, Big M, check this out. What the? A dead end? How are we supposed to follow the streamer now? Curse you, you lousy dead end. These boulders are way too big to jump over. Even for a guy like you, Big M. Dude, have you seen... Mario can jump like 50 feet in the air. I'm pretty sure that's canon. He's basically Superman, the original one that just jumped over buildings instead of flying over them. You know, before he was basically a god. If we can't go that way, I guess we can see what's up the mountain. I use bombs to blow up things all the time, and they don't die from the explosion. Why can't I use you to blow stuff up? Did Oh, he has amnesia. He forgot how to explode. That's gotta be it. Because if he could, I could just blow up all these boats. Why are these? Why are the boats here? These are boats. Right? Looks like a boat. On a mountain. Why is this even here? Oh ho, who's this? Another potential traveling buddy? Hey, Pointy! Want to make some fun memories with us? Bobby, stop! Be careful, those folded soldiers are dangerous. This little guy, really? I guess those spikes do make him look tough. Alright, I'll try to steer clear of the foldy guys. We're gonna sneak past them. We snuck past! Ah, they came from above! I wanted to avoid this. Because I assume this battle's just gonna- wait, no, we have Bobby now. Bobby, blow them up. Bobby's actually with us! Bobby, why are you sleeping? Damn it, Bobby! Wait, I got it. If I just pull them like this, then they're in hammering range. I think his name might actually just be Bobby now. I'm sorry. But Bob, um... Like, that, re that actually requires I pause to say his name properly. And I don't know about that one, Chief. Bobby. Take 20 damage. I'm never going to get that right. That's why we have to use the golden hammer. The golden hammer makes up for my mistakes by just allowing us to do all of the damages ever. So... 
This and then this. Okay, that's not how I was originally thinking of lining them up, but that's how we're lining them up. So I gotta use iron boots on these guys. And this is why we keep pairs of iron boots around, but not as many. See, I don't think there's gonna be too many spiked enemies. I don't imagine. So... This is a new area, so we might need the shiny boots. I can buy more. We actually have a third pair that just isn't equipped because you can only have three things equipped at once. So I am not afraid to use our money. Let us use the good equipment. I get a 20% discount. And they told me that if I spend more money, I will eventually get an even bigger discount. If we get 40% off, it's basically free. We would be losing money not to buy it. Give me the money. I'm running. I got the money and I'm running. Oh, cheap, cheap. Oh, hi there, little fishies. What is that? Is that a little dancing monkey in the background? Is that a little origami dancing monkey? These mountain fish must spend their whole lives slopping around on the surface. How interesting. Uh, I know I lost my memory, but that doesn't sound right. Don't fish kind of need water? I can see it. I can see the toad wiggling. You see the can up there to the left of the sign? There's a, there's a toad. You can see it. It's fine. Whoa, a boat? All the way up here? Oh, Bobby, you poor thing. I may not be well-traveled, but I do know that boats float. This thing is just sitting here. It can't be a boat. The amnesia must have sapped your memories and your brain power. How cruel. I know what a boat is, ma'am. And if there's a boat here, then this is supposed to be a lake. And if that's the case, this lake must be... All dried up. It was the little monkey that did it. Wow, that's astounding. So this is a lake. Wait, isn't that dangerous? We, we could get soaked. We have to get out of here before we get pulped. This lake is dry, so we're probably fine. But if there was water, we could ride in the boat. And if we could do that, we could float. Right over that dead end and follow the blue streamer. So we just have to fill this lake back up. I don't have a clue how to help with this one. Where should we even start? I'm going to assume it's the monkey. But first, we get this toad. Hello, toad. I have saved you. Out of the way, Bobby. I came here to see if I could get a job with the river tours, but I ended up getting canned. Literally. This tour guide must really love tuna. I'll bet padding with one oar, or paddling with one oar, works up an appetite. Is that a tiny bush or is that a turtle up there? I think it's a tiny bush. Master Orman's relaxing downriver tours. Boat landing. Origami monkey. I shall slay you. Ah, what a funny little guy. Hey monkey, what are you doing up there? Huh, must be shy. It's made out of origami. I must slay it. This is a lot of canned food. Must be an entire year's worth. Let's see. The label says... A nut. What's a nut? Oh, wait. Which region are we in? I guess I was reading it backwards. I guess it's just tuna. That's what I was thinking. Let me get on top of the tuna. Look at that. Incredible view, right? That's like straight out of Assassin's Creed. Check out that building over there. Getting total shrine vibes. If I were a big shot water spirit, I'd want to live in a place just like that. Hmm, I agree, Bobby. It does look very watery and shrine-like. Hold on. A water shrine for some kind of water spirit. Ah, could that be the water of elemental shrine? Mario, we found it. That has to be home of the water of elemental. Lord of all liquids. Hmm, so this water of elemental is some kind of water boss, huh? Why don't we ask it if you can fill the leg back up? Sacred Soaked Shrine of the Water of Elemental. So there's going to be Velementals of all like shapes, sizes, and elements and stuff. That's especially cool. I can see it up there. There's a toad. It's pretending to be a dragonfly, and there's a pipe up there. Oh. Look at this magic circle. It's got a real Water of Elemental look to it, don't you think? 
With a magic circle like this, I'm sure we could do something about the dry lake. Let's head to the shrine, Mario. Water of Elemental, here we come. I love elemental themes. Elemental stuff, it's my favorite. Dungeons and Dragons, doesn't matter. I can get behind there. I can see that. Look at that chest. Look at how in there that chest is. How could I walk by here and not see that chest? We're going around. Oh, look, it fell out. It fell out. Got it. It's on top of the stairs. Hmm, I thought there was a toad in the top. Doesn't it look kind of white up there? I thought it was a toad. It wasn't. Picturesque prairie. Tall grass plains. Oh, God. Oh, God, it was foreshadowing. That's why they gave me the toad finder, my bob. There's going to be toads all in this area. Whoa, so much tall grass. How pretty. We might not be able to see you in there, Bobby. Stay close and don't get lost, okay? He's accepted it. He's actually accepted the Bobby. Oh, I knew there was something over here. It was way too out of the way. Hello there, Toad. Finally, our rescue. I was so lonely down here all on my own. Here, let me thank you with this. What? What? So I... Are you gonna linger for a while? That's fine. I'm just hoping to get some alone time soon. Dude. I'm gonna wreck him. But dude. It didn't make us stronger, but there's actually other health ups. I did not realize that saving toads would actually increase our maximum health. I know it's only by 5 instead of 20, but that's still pretty huge. Because if there was 1, there could very potentially be like 10 in the game. And that's like 50. I'm gonna nope out of fighting all that stuff. Friendship Plaza. Please pick up your empty cans to facilitate maximum friendship! That's true. The friendship. It's massively increased when you're not littering. Oh my god, we all fit on the bench. Hmm, so refreshing. Nothing better than mountain air. I wonder if even the air here is red. It looks clear, but you never know. I don't think that's how that works, Olivia. This world is so big, Big M. But I understand so little of it. <sighs> I understand, we just got 75 HP. Sitting on that bench? It's like eating one and a half mushrooms. Anyway... Next time, we're going to get to the Earth Elemental Temple. So thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Later, everybody.